We have come together in the presence of God to witness the marriage of Ryan and Amber, to surround them with our prayers and to share in their joy. The scriptures teach us that the bond and covenant of marriage is a gift of God in which a man and a woman are joined as one, an image of the union of Christ and the church. As Ryan and Amber make their promises to each other today, we remember that at Cana in Galilee, our Lord Jesus Christ made the wedding feast a sign of God's love, claim of love. Let us enter into this celebration, confident that through the Holy Spirit, Christ is present with us here this morning. We pray that Ryan and Amber may fulfill God's purpose for the whole of their life. Ryan, will you have Amber to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health? And forsaking all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live. If so, please respond with, I will. Thank you. And Amber, will you have Ryan to be your husband, to live together in the covenant of marriage? Will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him? in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. If so, please respond with, I will. All right, thank you. Ryan and Amber, you two are each other's North Star. You are. There is something about each of you that has drawn you together. We can call it that God has preordained and blessed this. But the two of you are so special, and I want you to continue to 
to be a blessing. We got an umbrella coming up here. Don't worry about me, but Ryan, you're going to hold this over here. Folks, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to say amen. <laughs> Hang on to this. And you all are saying amen. 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 All right. <laughs> you got him? All righty. You got him. Here we go. There's vows to be said first, all right? Brian and Amber, hold hands at the best you are able. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Brian, would you please, please repeat after me? Amber, I take you to be my wife. Amber, I take you to be my wife. From this day forward. From this day forward. To join with you. <laughs> and share all. And share all. That is to come. That is to come. And I promise to be faithful to you. And I promise to be faithful to you. Until death parts us. Until death parts us. Amber, repeat after me. <laughs> Brian, I take you to be my husband. From this day forward, join with you and share all that is to come. And I promise to be faithful to you until death parts us. Brian, would you hold these rings for just a brief moment? We give you thanks, O God of grace, for your love and faithfulness to your people. May these rings be symbols of the promise Amber and Ryan have made with each other today. In Jesus Christ, our Savior and Lord, we ask this. Amen. Ryan, as you give this ring to Amber, would you please repeat after me? Amber, I give you this ring. Amber, I give you this ring. As a sign. As a sign. Of my love. Of my love. And faithfulness. Amber, would you give this ring to Ryan? Would you please repeat after me? Ryan, I give you this ring. As a sign. Of my love. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Well, you may have. <laughs> I have went. <laughs> That's all right. All right. <laughs> Dear friends and family, wet as you are, Ryan and Amber, by their promises before God and in your presence, have joined themselves to one another as husband and wife. Those whom God has joined together, let no one separate. Amen. 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 Ryan and Amber, this nuptial blessing is shared with the two of you. Ryan and Amber, now you will feel no rain, for each of you will be a shelter. Well, you will feel no rain. <laughs> hey, this is cool. <laughs> a shelter to the other. Now you will feel no cold, for each of you will be warm to the other. And now there will be no loneliness, for each of you will be a companion to the other. Now you are two persons, but there is only one life before you. May beauty surround you both in the journey ahead and through all the years. May happiness be your companion and your days together be good and long upon the earth. Treat yourself and each other with respect and remind yourself often of what brought you together. Give the highest priority to the tenderness, gentleness, and kindness that your marriage deserves. When frustration, difficulties, and fear assail your relationship as they assail in all relationships at one time or another, remember to focus on what is right between you, not only the part that seems wrong. This way you can ride out the storms when the clouds hide the face of the sun in your life. Remembering that even if you lose sight of the sun for even a moment, it is still there. Somewhere up there, folks, there is a sun. <laughs> in our hearts, there is a sun. And if each of you takes responsibility for the quality of your life together, it will be marked by abundance and the love. You all join with me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses. We forgive those who trespass against us. 
and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Ryan and Amber, dear family and friends, may Almighty God bless you now and forever, keep you in His truth and His light and His love. Turn and face your family and friends there, kids. Yes. Aren't they a beautiful couple, by the way? Yes. Give them a little prayer and all well together. <laughs> Brian. See we got you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> you may now kiss your beautiful bride. <laughs> Where we're going. Yeah, we can go wherever we want. Got it?